Dinner and Highlights April 30, 2020. Jeff. We are now only waiting for Iraq to form the Goy to Go International. The new Goy will be approved by the constitutional deadline of May 8. Ray Ren 98, TNT. Al Kazemi says in the coming hours, he will release all names of his cabinet and within two days, he will announce a special session of parliament to vote sometime next week and that the virus and Ramadan will not affect this session. Will Executive Order 13303 need to be renewed if the RV does not happen by May 20? Will this change our chance of exchanging our currency? Nothing will change our chance of exchanging. Bank sources are opening up indicating new rates are forthcoming. So we wait. Patiently. Positive. Very positive. Pimpy. A nifty little tidbit of information that was brought to my attention that I had not paid attention to but might make a difference in our thought. From the White House, text of a notice on the continuation of the national emergency with respect to the stabilization of Iraq Executive Order 13303. This one was redone by Trump May 20th, 2019. When they declared it back in 2003 is when the currency was devalued. When this expires does this mean there are no longer any restriction on the Iraqi dinar? Does this mean we're finally going to see the Iraq dinar on Forex? Does this mean we're finally going to see the rate change on May 20th, 2019? Trump extended it for one year. What does it mean when this expires? Trump might not extend this 13303. I don't want to get overhipped. Does this mean that on May 20th, 2020 if they don't extend this does that mean any restrictions on the currency is then lifted? I'm curious what this means. Bruce, the big call. Via Wiser now. Usually our currencies can tell us something, so we know for example. Travel X stopped offering Vietnamese dong for sale on their site. In other words, it disappeared. The Vietnamese dong is no longer available. That is a great sign for us so why did that go away? It's going away because the rate change is going to take place, and they don't want to get caught in the middle of a rate change, so they have simply removed the dong from the site, that is big. Markts. Via PDK. My folks in Iraq still think this could be our weekend. The banking side absolutely believe they are correct that tonight is our night. I hope they are right. Adam Montana. Day 6 Jillian 7 Brazilian 876,9876,350,876 of the Rona lockdown. Countries like Iraq should certainly be wiped out and pleading for mercy. Especially with oil taking the huge hit that it took recently. That is not the case. Iraq is not only fine, they are more than fine. They have weathered a monster hit to the price of oil without lowering their rate. They are surviving an unbelievable shake-up of their government, and Thursday to May 8th look to be key dates for finalizing some more of that critical work. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying coronavirus was a hoax on the contrary, it has been devastating for some. And the economic damage may never be fully calculated. But the world did not end. We will move past all of this. And the Iraqi dinar is still a very real item that holds a massive amount of potential. Foot forward. Question, does it matter whether we have circulated or uncirculated dinars? Does the value change? No. It shouldn't. Money is money unless that series has been discontinued or replaced. Iraqi dinar evaluation and global currency reset news dinar chronicles. Courtesy of Dinar Gurus.